Hello everyone, welcome to another haul. Today we have a Brickmania haul with uh, some pretty good things in them. You guys are gonna most likely like what's in here. Um, bunch of guns, helmets, uh, flags. So I'm gonna quickly do a transition and then they're all gonna magically appear in three, two, one. Boom! Yikes, and everything goes everywhere. That was a great transition. And uh, it actually wasn't a transition, it's called magic. Um, what I am gonna do is a transition, and I'm gonna transition to all this being sorted thanks to Isaiah. So, see you in a second after yet again another transition. Actually, no, not another transition, because the other one was magic. So we'll see you in a second. All right, now everything is sorted with the help from Isaiah. As you can see, got four labels, two, German MG guns or heavy machine guns, um, two Soviet caps, five German helmets or stall helmets, and three Falschmager helmets. First, we're gonna start off with the Soviet tanker caps, which look really nicely, or nice, sorry. Um, this is what they look like on a figure, or a Soviet tanker. Pretty nice, I like them. They're nice, they're big. I don't know if they're supposed to be that big, but I like them. Next, we have the Falschmager helmets. Falschmager. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Who would focus? Pretty nice. It's just like a pan, basically. A Japan. Uh -huh, so funny. Jokes with Joshua. They're not funny. Just like this focus, because it's, it's not focusing. Thanks, camera. Finally focusing on what I want you to. The Stahlhelm. The signature helmet of the German Reich. Very nice. Very reflective. And then we got some lapels in the back. Vive la France. I'm joking. But yeah, France. Baguettes. You could kill them off with a sta stale baguette. You could win a war with a stale baguette. And then boom. German MGs. Sorry, that's a bit off to the side of the camera. Obviously, World War One. Pretty nice. Looks almost the exact same as the RDT um, MG. Next, we have a bunch of flags. Greek, Union Jack, Polish, Republic, and Spain. As you can see, just taking that beauty. I love the Republic and Spain flag. Um, Greek pre-1960. Love it. Italian. Just the failure of a country where they can't win any battle. Um, Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, mainly why I got it, because it could be used for both nations. Poland, pretty obvious flag, why wouldn't I? And then the Union Jack, which is also pretty obvious. We're gonna get some TMC figures, some um, British, so why not? Would've been great. So, as you can see, pretty good haul got a bunch of flags helmets stuff like that um overall very nice i think only around 50 bucks so pretty good amount of flags and the flags were only 10 dollars altogether so that was also really nice actually i'm not gonna throw in the figure because if this is the thumbnail but that's not gonna look very good because the figure did not come with this so um yeah look at all those flags Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if this would focus. If this focuses, you have to like. Okay, it focused. You have to like the video. Look at that. Just get an overview of everything. Boom. All right, now you have to like and comment and subscribe. Now you have to. Because it focused. Thank the maker. So, as, as it focused, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye to the Union Jack. Oh, bread time.